Hello and welcome to my channel Dan's the Engineer. I'm Dan Jackson and today I've been given a present. Let me show you. This is the new Solo 365 fire alarm tester. So the guys at uh, Detector Testers have given this to me. They're called uh, Detector Testers. I've always known them as Solo. Um, they have loads of different products. I'm going to put a link below to their website. Um, you'll be quite familiar. If you test fire alarm systems, you'll be very familiar with a lot of their stuff. So let's uh, unbox this little baby and see what we've got. So, we've got a quick start guide, which is actually just a little leaflet and it literally is a quick start guide. I've actually read this online, so it gives you the instructions, nice and simple. And the actual head unit itself. Here we go. Just throw that away. And there we have it. This is our unit. It's pretty nifty. So what else have we got in here? We've got a power lead. Um, you can register your product by scanning the code. Now this, all right, okay. So these are your power adapters for the charging unit. So there's all sort of uh, continental types here. Right, here so, um, and then we've obviously got the English or UK British standard plug top there. So they're all the power supplies. We've got the battery pack. Uh, instructions if you like to read them. Many people don't. And this is, that's the battery. And that's the lead for the charge, charge lead. Pretty nifty. And over here we've got that is the smoke cartridge. So this unit, instead of using um, smoke cans that a lot of you may be used to with their older unit, this is, that's the smoke, that's the can of smoke that you need. So put that to one side. And this is the generator. So you put your smoke cartridge into that and then it goes inside the unit. So let's put this uh, all together and get it working. So this is our unit, you turn it over and it's got a couple of clips here at the back. The lid comes up and inside it you've got a place for the generator and the battery. So the generator goes in first. So this is the generator and it quite nice and easily Just clicks in like that, nice and easy. In it goes. And then we get the smoke cartridge, which is this part. And you simply slide it in. There we go, that's it. So it's now fully loaded with smoke. So now we put the battery in. This is the battery. Again, just clicks into place, everything's in, nice and simple. So there's our unit. 
you put it back on. There we go, it's now ready to use. Now this new unit, the 365, is compatible with the old poles that you use for the um, older type of solo kit. So I've got my existing pole here and uh, it literally, nice and easy, just slots into place. So the first time you use this, when you put a new generator into the back, um, you may have to do a manual purge, but read the instructions on that. But to turn it on, you hold the on button and then it starts flashing green. There we go. So that is now ready to use. When a detector enters the chamber, that's when it knows to start releasing the smoke. So it does it automatically and it does a set amount of smoke. So let's try that on this one. So it's flashing blue, which means that it's activating. So as soon as the detector activates, I'm gonna take it off. There we go. So that's now flashing green. I can now put that over the top there. And it's actually now clearing the smoke as well. So it's blowing the smoke away to help it clear. So that's all done now. And now we can uh, reset our panel. That's our test done on our smoke detector. Nice and easy. So I've always used the older type Solo 330, which is this unit. So what are the dif differences between the new one and the old one? Well, this one needs aerosols that you put into the bo bottom and you manually push up on the detector and it releases the smoke into the chamber of the detector. Now you have no control um, if you're putting too much smoke in and what can happen is you can actually contaminate the smoke if you spray it with too much because you shouldn't actually do that much you shouldn't have to if it doesn't go off with a certain amount of smoke it's failed to test uh, because it's not doing its job properly so it, you know it's a good unit I've used it for a, a long time and you know never had a problem with it um, but this one it has an automatic amount of smoke that it releases into the cup so you can't contaminate the detector at all. So as soon as something enters the, the cup, the sensor inside knows that and it starts releasing smoke. That's what it's just done there. So you, you don't run the risk of uh, contamination. Um, it's, quite, it's quite nifty, quite nimble. Um, it is battery powered. So that's something you do have to bear in mind. You will have to charge it. So I personally would have a spare battery just in case, because you never know, and before you're doing a job, charge one up and have one on the go, just like you would a drill. Um, exactly the same thing. So it requires a little bit more planning, whereas obviously the, the 330, you can literally shove a can of smoke in and, and you're away as long as you've got enough cans of smoke. Uh, so this is something that we definitely can start using um, on a lot of clients that we work for. It is now specification that we use something like this because you know it's more intelligent in the way that it does it and it's, it's nice and nifty and the good thing is I don't have to throw away my old kits I can still keep it, it, everything I've want but just use uh, just buy the new head and if we get any more engineers we can buy a whole new kit for them with all uh, the new range another massive bonus of this is the smoke cartridge you know you won't have much wastage because it only uses the right amount that it knows it needs to for to set off the smoke detector. So instead of the aerosols where you can spray loads and loads and loads, um, this you don't. So again, it's a cost saving thing. In my opinion, I don't know how any fire alarm engineer who does servicing or commissioning gets away without using some sort of uh, test equipment um, for testing your smoke detectors, heats and whatever. Solo have a great range of kits, always use them. They've got to test it fire and other stuff. But um, I see a lot of engineers just using the cans of smoke and spraying it. And um, the problem with that is that they, they're quite liquidy. So when you spray it on the ceiling, they can, it can actually ruin the paintwork. It can contaminate detectors um, if, if it's misused in, in the wrong way. And I see it all too often. All of my engineers and all my colleagues that we've ever done fire alarm testing have always used um, Solo. Like, like I said before, I've always used the Solo 330, which, you know, it's a, it's a great bit of kit and an absolute must for a fire alarm engineer. But I am definitely going to start using these just because of the wastage. Um, and also, you know, it does just the right amount of smoke into the unit. So you don't get any issues with that. And obviously it clears it nice and good. So yeah, impressed on all and I look forward to using it on site. Thank you for watching my video. Um, please comment and like the video and share it. If you've got any questions or anything you want to say about the new 
Solo 365, this little beauty. Uh, put comments below. Um, always happy to talk to people. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. See you later.